हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू जीके टुडे आई एम पला खंडेलवाल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉप एमसीक्यू व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू द बैंकिंग इकोनॉमी एंड फाइनेंस करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ 28 फरवरी 2022 सो दिस सीरीज इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर ऑल बैंकिंग एग्जाम एस्पिरेंट ओके सो नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 इन द इंटरनेशनल इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इंडेक्स 2022 वेयर डस इंडिया रैंक सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज 43 So recently, the International Intellectual Property Index 2022 was released by the Global Innovation Policy Center of U.S. Chamber of Commerce. So as per the index, India has a rank at 43rd position out of 55 countries. So basically, India has improved its overall IP score from 38.4 percentage to 38.6 percentage. So the first position is marked by the United States with a score of ninety five point four eight percentage. So the second and third rank was marked by the United Kingdom and Germany. Okay. So now question number two. The International Air Transport Association has created a new platform called IATA Pay in collaboration with which bank? So the correct answer of this question is option B that is Standard Chartered Bank. So recently the Standard Chartered Bank has partnered with the International Air Transport Association. So they have partnered to launch the payment platform for the airline industry. So the name of the new platform is IATA Pay. So basically the IATA Pay will enable an instant airline payment facility. It is based on the Standard Chartered Straight to Bank Pay. So the IATA Pay, in addition to create to a credit card, will be work as a new payment option that will allow the participating airline to offer instant payment option like UPI scan, pay, and UPI collect. So basically, the IATA Pay will give simplicity to the transaction process by focusing on open banking and real time payment solution. Apart from that, it will also be a made available in European market, which will give promotion to the UPI, who has been named as Dish TV India's brand ambassador. So the correct answer of this version is option D, that is Rishabh Pant. So recently, the Dish TV India has announced the appointment of Indian cricketer Rishabh Pant as a brand ambassador. So basically, Rishabh Pant will feature in the brand 360 degree communication for the next two years. This investment in D2H brand is going to make it even stronger. The close affinity between D2H brand and Rishabh Pant as a brand ambassador will be enable deeper engagement of D2H with TG. Okay, so now question number four: Who was recently named as a new head of the National E-Government Division? So the correct answer of this question is option A, that is Abhishek Singh. So recently. The 1995 batch IAS officer and Digital India Corporation CEO, named as Abhishek Singh, as the new National E-Governance Division Chief. So, the 1995 batch IAS officer from Nagaland will hold the position in the rank and pay additional secretary. So, basically, the officer will proceed to carry the extra cost of the put up of managing director and chief government officer in Digital India Company. Okay, so now question number five. Who was recently elected to the National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India Board of Director? So the correct answer of this question is option A, that is K S Mani. So recently, the K S Mani was elected as the Board of Directors of the National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India. So he is the chairman of Kerala Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation. Okay. So now question number six. Every year on what date is World Angio Day observed in several of countries around the world? So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is 27 February. So recently, the World Angio Day is celebrated every year on on 27th of February in several countries across the world. So basically, the non-government organization or NGOs work in the upliftment of the society. It is an international day to recognize, celebrate, and honor non-government and non-profit organization, and also those who contribute their time and efforts in making society a better place to live. So basically, the aim of World NGO is to create awareness about the sector and encourage people across the world who work in the sector for the good cause. 
One interesting fact about World NGO Day is that the government of each country appreciate these people working selflessly in their official state languages. Okay, so now question number seven. Which company recently decided to purchase an additional 4.7 percentage interest in Indus Tower from Vodafone Group? So the correct answer of this question is option B. That is Bharti Airtel. So recently the Bharti Airtel has decided to acquire an additional 4.7 percentage stake in Indus Tower from Vodafone Group. So the two companies sign an agreement on the condition that Vodafone will use the proceed to invest in Vodafone Idea and the later will clear its pending dues with the Indus Towers. So let's talk about some important takeaways for all competitive exam. Bharti Airtel was founded in year 1995 on the date of 7th of July. Apart from that, the CEO of Bharti Airtel is Gopal Vittal and the founder of Bharti Airtel is Sunil Bharti Mittal. Okay, so now question number 8. In collaboration with National Payment Corporation of India, which Bank of India recently developed the Union MSME Rupay Pay Credit Card? So, the correct answer of this question is option B, that is Union Bank. So, recently the Union Bank of India has launched the Union MSME Rupay Pay Credit Card in association with National Payment Corporation of India. It is the first of its kind initiative in industry to provide simplify and digital delivery of finance to micro, small and medium enterprise to meet their business related operation expenses. So, the dedicated card of MSME will be available to eligible borrowers of the Union Bank of India. Apart from that, the Union MSME Rupay Pay Credit Card was launched by Union Minister for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise, that is Sri Narayan Rani, on February 25, 2022, at a two-day MSME conclave being held in Maharashtra. Okay, so now let's talk about some important takeaways for all competitive exam. The headquarter of Union Bank situated in Mumbai, the CEO of Union Bank name is Raj Kiran Raji and the, it is founded on year 1919 on the date of 11th of November. Okay, so now question number 9. Which payment bank has been approved as an official acquiring partner for e rupee vouchers? So the correct answer of this question is option D that is Paytm Payment Bank. So recently, the Paytm Payment Bank Limited was announced that it is an official acquiring partner for e rupee voucher. So e rupee, which is the government initiative, is the cashless prepaid voucher that beneficiary can present by SMS or QR code. So Paytm merchant partners can be scanned, enter the amount to be paid and receive the payment directly in their bank account. So this will benefit beneficiaries. Even those who do not have access to formal banking service or smartphone to avail the convenience of the digital banking. Okay, so now last question. Which bank recently paid Rs. 19.99 crore for a 9.49% stake in, Ver in Vervi Financial Service? So recently the private lender ICIC Bank announced that it has acquired 9.49% stake in Vervi Financial Private Limited. For nearly rupees 20 crore. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you like this session. This were the important news and events for today. Which are related to the business, economics and financial sector. We meet again with the some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe GK Today.